In this video, I am going to bust 10 computer security myths that are putting you at the risk. So watch the whole video and bust these myths. You know computers, so you don't need antivirus. The first myth is people believe that they know computers, so they don't need antivirus. It's a complete myth. No matter how much you know computers, viruses and malware will find their way to enter your PC. If you follow all the cautions, you don't visit shady websites, you don't download from unsafe sites, still, there might be something that may skip. There are threats that execute automatically and don't require your action. You need antivirus for such threats. You will know when you have a virus infection. The second myth is that people think that if they have a virus infection, they will know it. In the early days when you had a virus, you start seeing symptoms, you see lots of pop-ups, and the system behaves abnormally, so you know there is something wrong with the PC and run the antivirus scan. But nowadays viruses are more sneaky, they are designed to not get attention and perform the set task silently. So you should run the antivirus full scan once in a while to make sure your computer is clean. Antivirus will always protect you from everything. Now that you know that you need to have antivirus, it's also a myth that antivirus will protect you from everything. People think that they have installed a premium antivirus and they can do anything they want. Even if you use the strongest protection, if you don't follow proper caution, you will end up infecting your PC. Hackers and cybercriminals keep inventing new methods and malware to infect your PC that antivirus can't stop so you should always stay cautious even having the strongest protection. A strong password is enough for your accounts. People think that you should have a strong password, and that is all for your accounts. But the truth is just strong passwords aren't enough. There have been several phishing cases where users themselves enter the password that reaches hackers. Nowadays, if any online account matters to you, you should use two-factor authentication with a strong password to protect your account. This way, even if hackers have your password, they won't be able to log in until they enter the OTP received on your phone. You should change your password frequently. It's outdated advice that you should change your password frequently. The idea behind this is that if your password is stolen, it will be valid until you reset the password. But due to this, users tend to use a weaker and more memorable password as they have to change it periodically. Also, once your password is stolen, hacker is going to change it and take control of your account. So there is no point in changing the password frequently. Strong passwords must be complex. Another myth that people believe is that strong password must be complex. Yes, your password should be complex, but the thing that matters most is the length. If you use a complex password, but the length is just four or five characters, it will be easy for hackers to crack than a less complex password that with 15, 20 characters long. But at the same time, you should not use common sentences that are easy to guess. You can use long phrases that are not easy to guess and combine them with special characters and numbers. You can use zero in place of O, dollar sign at the place of S, and so on. You have no sensitive data to protect. People often think that they don't have anything to protect. However, it is not completely true. There is always some information that hackers and cyber criminals can use against you. So you should always be skeptical while giving your information online. Padlock means the site is safe. Another myth among people is padlock means the site is safe and trustworthy. This padlock here is a sign that tells your connection to the site you are accessing is secured, but that doesn't mean the website itself is secured. If you see a padlock icon, it tells you that no one between your computer and website can sneak the information. However, if the website you are accessing contains malware, it will be transferred to your computer over a secured connection. Incognito mode is private. Incognito mode is not completely private. Yes, you heard it right. The incognito mode on your browser doesn't hide your activity completely. Your internet service provider, government, your organization, and hackers can still track your activity. The incognito mode only hides your activity from other users accessing your computer. If you really want a private session, you need to use a trustworthy VPN. 
deleted files or formatted drives can't be recovered. Another common misconception is that if you delete a file and remove it from recycle bin, no one can retrieve it. When you delete a file, it is just marked as deleted in your hard drive directory of files, but actually, it's there until some other programs rewrite something over it. The same thing happens when you use quick format to format a drive. Quick formatting just deletes and rearranges the whole directly, but the data is still there. So, if you want to delete something permanently on your hard drive, you should use software that rewrites the disk in the place of your files. That's it for this video. If it does help you press the like button and share it with your friends. We keep uploading video related to computer security, so subscribe to our channel and press the bell button to make sure you don't miss anything.